Welcome to Money Doctor Show. I'm CS Sudhir. In this episode, today I will tell you about the differences between investing in mutual funds and investing in ULIP plans. So, in fact, whenever you talk to a mutual fund distributor, he would always say mutual funds are the best investment options, and an insurance advisor might say unit linked insurance plans are the best investment options. So, let's try and understand. What are the differentiating factors and how do we evaluate these two investment options to decide which one is best for you? So there are five important parameters which need to be evaluated while investing in these two instruments. Number one, the charges. So in ULIPS, there is something called fund management charges and there is something called premium allocation charges. But in ULIP, in, in mutual funds, there is only one charge that's called fund management charges. So the fund management charges in mutual fund is about 1 to 1.5 percent if it is direct mutual fund. If it is a normal mutual fund, it may go up to 2.5 percent. But in case of ULIPS, it is always between 1 to 1.25 percent. So which means the fund management charges in ULIPS is comparatively lesser than you know, mutual funds. And when it comes to premium allocation charges, this doesn't exist with mutual funds. And, and this is only on the premium paid every year. So in case if you are investing 1 lakh rupee every year, first year they may take about 3-4% as premium allocation charges and second year onwards it may be 1-2% and that is only on the premium paid. So keeping the charges in mind, if you are looking at less than 10 year tenure, it is not wise to go with ULIPS, it is good to go with mutual funds. If you are looking at more than 10 year tenure, it is okay to compare, I mean choose anything between mutual funds and ULIPS because both are almost same when it comes to charges. The next one is switching facility. In mutual fund, there is nothing called switching, which means during market volatility, you can't transfer your funds from equity to debt because the money is invested based on the investment philosophy as described in the offer document. But in ULIPS, you will have an option called switching where when the mark, whenever there's a market volatility, you can transfer your funds from equity to debt or debt to equity whenever you wish to. The next important thing is insurance coverage. So there is no insurance coverage in mutual funds, but in ULIPS there is insurance coverage which is mostly 10 times of the annual premium paid. The next thing is tenure. So mutual funds offers you a lot of flexibility unless until you go with the ELSS scheme where the money will be locked for three years in ULIPS you know there is there is always a five year lock in because your money has to be there for five years and in fact some companies offer you partial withdrawal options after three years but otherwise it is locked for five years and mutual you know, in in case of ulips there is always you know it, it's always good to go with a longer term otherwise it doesn't really make sense and Mutual funds offers you a lot of flexibility. You can take out money whenever you want in the normal mutual funds, not the ELSS one. You can even take out your money after three months, two months, six months, but in ULIPS you can't do it. Minimum three years you'll have to wait. After that you'll have partial withdrawal. Only after five years you can take out completely. So keeping all these things in mind, less than 10 year tenure, mutual fund is the best option. More than 10 years, both works almost same. So then you decide which one is good for you. If you need any... Uh, assistance in choosing the right investment for you or if you need home loan, personal loan, car loan, business loan, education loan, just leave a missed call on indianmoney.com financial education helpline number 0226181611. We will call you back, help you make wise financial decisions. Thanks for watching. Be wise, get rich. <laughs>